truth. You want to oh, talk God. about shenanigans. Something in the clouds. Oh. Something in the clouds. Yes. So Japanese researchers have confirmed the presence of microplastics in clouds, which could potentially impact the climate in ways that we really don't understand yet. So in a study published in Environmental Chemistry Letters, they collected cloud water samples from Mount Fuji and Mount Oyama and found nine types of polymers and one rubber and airborne microplastics. So each liter of water contained about 6.7 to 13.9 pieces of microplastics. <sighs> so my friends, what do you think of this recent discovery? What does it mean for our health, the environment, and the choices that we make in our daily lives? Rain and plastic. All right, John, what do you think? I, I thought this was very interesting, actually. Um, but we we know about, like you said, Rob, uh, we talked earlier that there was there's microplastics in water. We already know that. But the fact that they discovered it in clouds makes it a, like a new discovery in the field of new environmental science. Yeah, completely. I mean, so, I mean, I just want to say they found everywhere they've looked so far, they found microplastics. <laughs> Good point. Yay, it's, so it's not, team it's cunning not. monkeys. <laughs> Yay, it's, we did it, everyone. We did it. It's horrible. You know, it's, it's in our blood. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. Dude, no. yeah. 80% I mean, of people test it it's in their blood. If it's in the water and it's in the We're air, Johnny, it's invariably in the food systems. And I mean, you drink water, so it's in you. It's a part of you. But why would it be in blood? Like, I could see my, like, stomach. I don't know. I'm asking too many questions. No. Um, <laughs> that's, question. that's insane. I mean, so it's, it's inevitable that it would be in the clouds, but just the fact that it's a new discovery, um, I guess they're still figuring out what that means for us, but it just basically means greenhouse gases and global warming and the earth melting and all of that fun stuff. Um, but Rob, you asked, what can we do? This reminds me of yeah. that one parody or that one commercial where the guy was um, on like national TV and and he was describing what was happening, like the world is ending, literally, it's too late. Global warming already happened, you can't reverse it. And they're mm -hmm. like, okay, so what do you think we can do? And he's like, um, pray. There's, <laughs> like, there's nothing, it's over. It's like one of those because it's, um, the pollution is it's, it's too much at this point. Even we if evolve, we say for- people, We evolve. We evolve, mm. but what are we gonna- Over long tomorrow? periods of time, yes. Over long periods of time, we evolve. If we change the environment too drastically so that we don't have time to adapt to the change, then other critters will, but we're not going to make the long run. No. I, don't, I think that um, there's not much that we can do unless we stop all production all the way, all the way we've been doing. It. So there's, there's nothing we can do, unfortunately. Um, Eco-friendly packaging. <laughs> <laughs> we can do that more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but there's, that's how I feel, honestly. There's nothing you can do. I mean, I don't know. So, Robbie, I know you're not going to like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, I mean, it, it, still, it just feels like it's the problem du jour, right? It's, it's the environmental issue of the day. I mean... Is this causing problem? Probably, maybe, who knows, right? I mean, every study that we found or had so far has been kind of inconclusive as to whether or not plastics are really an issue or microplastics are killing us or carcinogens or whatever. They're all, I mean, the majority of them are inconclusive. I tried to actually look for some that came with conclusive evidence that we're all dying from plastics. And there was mm -hmm. nothing conclusive, right? Okay. We, we, we have, we get cancer, we get all these things, but is it plastic? Who knows? Um, and, you know, what do you say? Okay, so there's this, there's this guy, Kenny Bush, he's a grad student, um, and he says, you know, it's anything more than, microplastic, anything more than five milliliters, right? And it can be round, jagged, you name it. It's a lot of different particles. And then there's this biologist, Richard Thompson, he says, you know, they had studies of sea creatures, because it's in sea creatures, right? It's in our fish, yep. everything. 
but everywhere. They found or the Antarctica. molecules in certain plastics, like uh, polyethylene and polypropylene, are pretty inert. So yeah, they're in our blood, but there's lots of minerals in our blood. There's lots of you know what? things in our blood. We have what iron? You have uh, magnesium, mm. sodium, for you, though. all of these. They're, they're, but some of them are good. Some of them are inert. There's a lot of things in our blood that are just have no effect on you whatsoever. <laughs> there are. So That's, it should just stay in us. Like we I'm should just saying, be like. I mean, I'm saying it should stay in us. But is it really a? Am. Is it something we should be freaking out about? I don't know yet. I don't know if there's okay. enough enough evidence. So we should be freaking out. Okay. Okay. I think I'm, I'm more with Johnny uh, on this one because I expected that. You, I think that you're being, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> right. Who knew the environmentalists would take a stance like this? Um, but it's some of the concerns that really need to be highlighted because they do have greater ramifications for the global population. Now, if we're finding it atop clouds and these high mountains where cloud formation is happening, these clouds, then it's being distributed globally. It's everywhere. So just the respiratory health concerns that go along with that, because we're talking about plastic particulates that can collect over your lungs. This can be a yeah. real problem what because these particulates is causing an issue. They did say Neo. people were dying from that, though, Neo, like cancer. Ooh. It didn't say okay, cool, so, it know, just kind of generalized people dying. So of cancer. microplastics, that's it's something that we're definitely figuring out. But plastics are not derived from natural ingredients that biodegrade. No, they're made from toxic chemicals and they remain toxic chemicals. You don't eat plastic. You don't ingest plastic because it's not good for but you. But you can eat the, plastic and it's inert. It goes right through. The, and, Is it? But if, dude, these are invasive particulates. These are foreign part, particles that do not belong in your system, period. So your body's going to fight it in one way, shape or form inconclusive okay neo they're looking into it they're figuring it out but plastic's not good end of story um the environmental <laughs> impact okay the environmental impact alone and the bioaccumulation because microplastics will accumulate over time yeah they so are. we know that these plastics are going to take hundreds if not thousands of years to break down completely so this garbage is going to accumulate and accumulate and choke out different biosystems, different organisms. This has a huge impact over time. I'm not saying it's going to be in our lifetime, but for humanity, ooh, we need to figure this out, man. See, I think, I th see, and this is where I've, I had this conversation with my wife recently, actually. So plastics are derived from what? Chemicals. What chemicals? Petroleum. Thank you. So petroleum, which is a energy source. Mm -hmm. All right. So in time, technology, I believe, will develop where we can create energy from plastics. And will it cause another issue? Like, uh, I don't know, some other environmental It might. I mean, so like, let's, let's take, for example. That's interesting. But let's take, for example, when I was a little kid, I remember when I was a little kid, we used to talk about, um, I, I would see on the TV all the time, save the trees, save the trees. Don't use paper. I have to use too much yeah. paper. Save the trees, save the trees. All the time, I kept hearing save the trees. And that was the environmental issue du jour, if you call it. Mm -hmm. And now, right, we talk, now in College Park, right where I live, they banned plastic bags, shopping bags. So, you know, like yep. the stores give you shopping bags, they banned them, right? Which is fine, oh. I get it. But you yeah. know what they're using instead, right? Cardboard. Paper bags, bags. fabric bags, paper, paper bags. There paper are bags. And, and I've seen people walking out with all these paper bags. Where are all the tree huggers talking about save the trees now? <laughs> oh, and we're talking oh, about, I, we're talking I about use, instead of plastic straws. bags. I mean, sure. Paper straws, reusable straws. My wife and I carry metal straws as part of our accoutrement because. But what about the people that you know are walking into those? Like, I mean, there's been, I have reusable bags too, and I walked in several times without my reusable bags. Me too. I'm picking up, I have to have a bag, and I'm asking for a paper bag. 
So I'm destroying trees True. now. I'm a, I'm a tree destroyer, right? That uh, paper bag is reusable. Sure. But you, I mean, you can have to much, you can get have, as much use as you can out of that paper bag and then recycle, recycle it. Properly. But you have to kill that. trees eventually. What about paper straws? I'm not reusing paper straws. So now we've got instead oh of using plastic straws, where we got I'm packing my own I'm packing my own metal straws because I hate See, paper straws. <laughs> See, but that's not got, practical. You know, yes, it is. That is impractical. I gotta say though, you know, nobody has remember that. it's not practical for the general population. It's not. <laughs> so we need to change our habits, right? Because what we're doing True. isn't working. And I remember months ago, Neo, you bringing True. up the True. fact that people are dying of colorectal cancer at higher rates than ever before. And oh, we don't yeah, know why. Do. Well, wait a minute. Yeah. Maybe there's a correlation between us being poisoned with the water, the food, and the air, and colorectal cancer. I'm not saying conclusively, but there could be a correlation here, Neil, because we are discovering the impact of microplastics on humans and our environment. I can't argue okay. that because there is no, a fact. And that's yeah, why I brought it up. That. There's a significant I know you increase. And I love you. That's why I brought it up. <laughs> there is a significant <laughs> increase, not just in, color, in cancers in general, but yeah. to counter that point, we're also all living longer. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's like <laughs> petroleum <laughs> is an carcinogen that can cause our, cancer in higher rates. So our, yeah, you know. our death rate is also in, increasing over time. So I mean, not our death rate, our mm -hmm. um, our uh, age living age whatever the it is longevity called. well that's that's yep. but that's inevitable though and then two it's the 21st century it's inevitable, so we have Wait, it's inevitable to yeah. live longer yeah because we're evolving so we're becoming more intelligent on how to keep ourselves alive more technology right is that not technology yeah. is technology, oh, yes. technology is resolving technology. the issues right exactly that's or what i'm saying basically longing our lifespans using technology yes yeah. we're artificially yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. basically i agree it's true mm -hmm. bad like if we didn't have technology, we would, we'd probably hey man, be when dead. We, when we started building homes, well, that increased our lifespans by about five to 10 years and it really decreased animal attacks. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Just we saying. wouldn't be eaten alive by a mountain Te lion. Technology in increases hut. lifespans. Yeah. A yeah. fact remains, we don't know, and you made a good point, we don't know what's causing all these cancers and all these other health issues. It hasn't been shown to be microplastics. It could be anything. It could be that we're cutting down the trees. Who knows, right? <laughs> yeah. They need to stop doing that, though. I'm just saying. Save the trees. <laughs> I don't know. Could be bugs. Could be viruses. Could be a number of things. Mm -hmm. We are, we are yep. we're doing a lot of horrible things as humans, and there's no doubt. But Skynet anyway. AI. <laughs> all right is this truth truth lies shenanigans, lies, shenanigans. Ugh, unfortunately this is true this is true got plastic I, mean, I gotta it's say true. it's true because they did find the microplastics in the clouds whether or not it's apocalyptic i don't know i mean that's no it's not good i don't think so it's, it's not, not good, good though but it's not <laughs> it's like that old adage, you know, it's the straw that broke the camel's back. It's like, okay, Mother Earth, can you take just this one more because of us? Just just yeah. this one more because of us? Yeah. Just this, oh, it's broken. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I but to answer why. your question, what can we do? I don't even know. Even if we wanted to do something, I mean, it's literally everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere yeah. scientists have looked for microplastics, it is in the depths of the yeah. ocean, the in the sea, air. Yeah in the water, Everywhere. in our food, in our bodies, so everywhere. 